most people by now know that uh, Jennifer's father is dead just barely two weeks and uh, tragically, uh, tragic circumstances that uh, just couldn't be anticipated for anything in the world and uh, Jennifer is very, very close, was very, very close to her dad and uh, he was due to be here like he has been to all of our exhibitions and any time Jennifer had work in the annual RHA exhibition, Jennifer's dad was in attendance and uh, very proud he was of his hugely talented daughter and I know that Jennifer uh, feeds his loss really deeply and uh, felt that there were so many conversations that were postponed that were due to be cut up on but just didn't happen. Uh, so it's a huge uh, void and in lots of ways I suppose when someone really close to us goes it's always the same. There are always conversations that uh, we need to, 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 to cover before somebody exited. But um, he also knew that Jennifer being the artist that she is uh, just needed to dedicate herself and commit herself full time to the work that she was doing, particularly leading up to the opening here tonight. And an artist uh, for at least a month before an exhibition like this, you know, they just need support, time, and uh, her father gave her that, and uh, that conversation was to be had. But um, he's here. He's, he's always been proud of you, and uh, and he knows that you did the right thing and you did what needed to be done. And it's just a magnificent exhibition, Jennifer. I met uh, met Jennifer Stab properly for the first time in a aptly named uh, gallery called the Mad Art Gallery, <laughs> uh, where you had a solo exhibition uh, on Garden Street about three years ago, three or four years. I think it was longer. It was probably it was when I had the studio in ah, RHA. Right. In 2011. Fado, Fado, and Fado, Fado, Fado. Everything, everything it kind of gets it, it's all relative. Yeah, yeah, days, yeah. You know. And you know, time passes quite more quickly as you get older, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> uh, so it does, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Apparently, the long term memory is great, but the short term memory gets kind of. It kind of goes a bit. Conveniently. Conveniently. <laughs> Um, so what we have here is just a fantastic exhibition of magnificent drawings of old abandoned playgrounds on the outskirts of town. There are groups of people, children, women, mainly women, that uh, occupy the spaces in and around the video uh, that you have is kind of crucial to, is, yeah. uh, to the show that's here and so much of the imagery yeah, comes yeah. From, from the video. And there's that kind of amazing combination of superb draftsmanship and drawing with colour. And the painting almost seems to be an independent republic from the drawing. It's quite interesting the way the marks of the paint dribbles, the washes, the gestures. Yeah. Uh, are working in tandem with the structure and with the drawings, but they're also independent of them. Yeah. And there's a strong narrative going on, I mean, really strong storytelling uh, element. Uh, there's a wistfulness, there's a romanticism, but there is absolutely not a hint of sentimentality. It's a really difficult area to traverse. Can you imagine if someone says, oh, I'm taking sort of clowns and carnivals, kind of, oh, yeah. <laughs> However, to actually take on board that subject matter, to locate it where it is and to address it and to execute them the way you have is just a remarkable achievement because that whole area is a minefield for, uh, of investigation that people could just fall into and think, but you're, Jennifer is just too much of the artist, too much of the woman with a vision, the artist with a vision who knows what she needs to do and how to deliver. And you've also got an amazing way of getting people to work with you. And um, for instance, all the people, many of the people that are here tonight, what's the name of the company? Huxley Horror. <laughs> <laughs> a special welcome to the Come here, you should come up. Huxley Horror. 
I was too. I was very nervous about singing, and um, Elaine, because her voice is similar to mine, was there with me all the way. Now I, I did sing the first four verses myself, and then we sang a three-part harmony, which yeah, my dad would have been proud of. I just felt it was the right way to send it out because my dad was such a good singer. He loved song. He loved you. My dad wasn't. Um, if a song didn't have 40 verses, it wasn't worth singing. <laughs> it just a prestigious memory for verses upon verses of songs. So. He was a funny man, good at stories, and yeah. uh, knew where to, to locate a good point of Guinness as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Yeah, so. no, no. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he, of course, he went to my brother's pub in Ennis, which he has did, a good reputation yeah, yeah. For, for the pint, you know. So we, 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 we had were the pints as well. We were discussing that, mm -hmm. weren't we? I mean, a pint of Guinness can't be poured, it has to be nursed. Into the, it has to be nursed. And it, it, it takes time as well, you know, it's really important. Um, these uh, are uh, amazing uh, structures here. Thanks very much. Yes, <laughs> 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 um, Now, the trees are fascinating because um, I was looking at them and I was trying to figure out what's going on here, but apparently they're achieved by putting sponge into a blender uh, and with pigment and colour and, and you get, voila, you get these incredible trees. But they add a whole other dimension to the exhibition, stroke, installation, video. Uh, paintings, drawings. Uh, it's just another fantastic exhibition from Jennifer Cunningham and one we always expect that of Jennifer anyway. Uh, I think we have it here tonight. So, you know, without laboring too much, but recognizing how poignant the occasion is, how we're in the middle of Jennifer grieving deeply for her father, her family, mother. Uh, father's partner, extended family, uh, deepest sympathies, and at the same time, the the will to go on and make things is irrepressible. So that's that strange combination that we are experiencing here tonight. And I know it's so raw, so fresh. My dad fresh. wanted me to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he would. So I uh, now declare the exhibition open and uh, wish you all. Well.